Hi everyone, see you here with another video. Today is the fucking third time I'm recording this. <laughs> so today's video is all about the mirrors. Because you ask for it a million thousand times. What? Yeah, that works. So yeah, you've been asking how I do the mirrors and how I work that. And yeah words and more words and now it makes sense so I decided to show you today and it's really simple so I don't know if this is going to be a long or a really short video but yeah let's jump into it so first things first we need to create the shape of the mirror Ta da there's a mirror and then you control click that Nope, that's not what I was trying to do. You control T, thank you, and then control click that. So you can move it and, and create a little perspective for us. Yeah, I guess that works. So this is our mirror. It's a bit wonky, but nobody cares right now. Then I'll click and drag the layer with the image. Control T that and then Alt click in the line right there and then you can just resize oh shit resize the layer and a really important thing here is to flip it because light changes don't be me when I started doing this I would just like oh yeah I can just use the same exactly like point of view you can't so another thing you can do is change the perspective of them and like something like this so it gets a bit of distortion because things get distorted in mirrors and that's it that's your mirror so now second step is to blend the mirror into your composite that's not what I want to do so let's select both layers control G to create a new group call it mirror because apparently layers. Well. so yeah now we have the group layer and then this is a layer mask with the brush tool let's select a soft brush this is evident concept art brush pack it's free it's on DeviantArt and it's good let's grab my Uyon Tablet, not sponsored, unfortunately, and just brush it down here, so we lose the harsh line. This is a good thing, like, I tend to choose to choose um, a foreground or a place to sit my mirrors where it really doesn't have to be that hard to blend things, so if I did this, it's it's looking okay already, but I want to go a little further and then in this group of brushes Where is it? So we have grass and foliage and then we have grass paint And this is very cool because you can't like erase so with that brush you do some stroking here and there just to I don't know help it blend I guess I don't know. I like to see the little brush strokes here and there, it really helps. And if you are using a tablet like I am, you can slap this little baby and have pressure sensitivity on, and that looks better. But yeah, it really doesn't change much on the final thing, so yeah, that's just a step you can take. Now, next thing you can do, at least I do it a lot because, I don't know, I like it. So, in my mind, mirrors are lighter. Like, the reflection is always lighter than whatever room you are in. So, following that rule, because that, that's a rule in my head, I want to, with the uh, levels adjustment layer, just darken the whole image. And push the lights a bit. And before, and after, before, and after, and I like that. So, I usually do that, and then I use a new levels adjustment layer and I darken the mirror a bit keep it like still lighter than the outside but yeah 
do that. And I like to have this. If the background is white or has clouds, I like it to pop out of that. So there's something I like to do. And yeah, this is basic, basic, basic stuff. So another thing you can do to mask everything is with the soft brush. Let me, yeah, this is a soft brush. Um, you turn it a bit into an egg shape. Press 1 on your keyboard to turn the opacity to 10, black on the colors, and just brush that around a bit. And remember, like, in this scene specifically, the light seems to be going from, like, from up, to, right up above your head, because they don't seem to have that many shadows. That's not, there's not a lot of shadows in the mountains as well, like, it seems like a really high sun hour so yeah you can just brush a bit of shadow here and there just to create a vibe I like this I think this looks good this is with and without so yeah and the second thing I really like to do is create a new layer clip it to the rest of them with white or uh, the tone of light that it's working on your picture so let's select this because it's the lightest light here with an elliptical brush as well you can just brush strokes of light across the mirror and that to me brings it to life because mirrors shine and that's a cool thing like yeah I don't know I like that and then you can just create a new layer to do the bounce of that light into the ground because light bounces that's why you can see that's why we all can see if you didn't know that now you know the I'm smart as well look at me so yeah like this is the basic stuff oh there's one more thing that I can teach you and that's creating thickness to the mirror. So what I like to do is, this is the shape. So control click that to get the selection of that shape. And then in a new layer, I'm starting to understand why people say I don't do layers well, but yeah, whatever. So I choose the lasso tool, right click on workspace, click and stroke. I do four pixels because it works with my um, file size. I don't know, like if you are working with bigger sizes, maybe do a wider stroke. I don't know. I just missed an opportunity to make a fucking dick joke. I think I did. Fuck. Um, so here you choose the color of the light that's hitting the mirror. So let's use this white. Like, is this white or is it off-white? Oh, it's pure white. Okay, so yeah, let's choose that. And for people, press enter. It's uh, an inside the stroke. So now you have this weird thing, right? And then what you can do is create a layer mask. And let's, first of all, take this line out because there's not no light like hitting that. Okay, that light is out. And then, new layer, I'll click the here to create, oh shit. I'll click it to create a clipping mask. Choose a black color. Oh shit. Okay. And like a 30% opacity brush. And just brush it over the white line on this side. Don't be like brushing everywhere because, yeah, like mirrors aren't opaque. So light will still shine through the, the thickness. That There's something you can learn from me right now. That's cool. Oh, it turned this to shit. Okay, well, whatever, it works as well. Let's put this at 40. You can also do that. Paint in full black and then the... Okay, let's do 80, I like that. 
I like 80. 80 looks cool. Let's just eraser tool. Go oh no, brush tool with black on the layer mask. Let's erase this white over on top because you can see the top thickness of something. That's weird. Okay. It's out. And since this what this side is white, that can be the light hitting it. But this is like this area here is too harsh. So so what we are going to do show? Show we we are going to do. So what we are going to do is with a 20 opacity black color, just erase it a bit so it doesn't look like, I don't know, weird. And yeah, that's another thing you can do. Do some rim light and drop shadow or thickness thing. I don't know. I, I like it. I think it looks more realistic than just putting a shape here for no apparent reason. And then it's the question of just like playing around with this knowledge and trying stuff out. Like things that you shouldn't do is put mirrors in front of objects that that people know how they look. Like imagine if I put a mirror in front of that couple, it would it would look weird because you know people have faces, and I can't just create something that's not an image. Like, I don't know those people, so I don't have their faces to create a reflection to. Uh, so be smart about how your your placement is done, because if you place the mirrors right, you don't need to go get extra images to make it work. Like here, I didn't need any other image besides the original one, and it works. At least in my opinion, it does. So, yeah, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial that I recorded three fucking times but I'm not mad uh, and yeah I I don't have anything else to say so if you like this video give it a thumbs up subscribe below and leave a comment with whatever the fuck you want to say and I will see you in the next video okay